Hi, welcome to the Let Me Guide You series. Today talking about how you can improve your story and uh, dashboards using SAP Lumira Self-Service Business Intelligence. Um, my name is Ivar van der Zand, SAP Analytics for South Belgium. And um, what I have on the screen uh, with my SAP Lumira is a very simple data set uh, with some orders, order values uh, per country, per time scale, and those products and product groups. And what I've done, I created um, a few very simple visualizations to, uh, to use in this exercise. Um, we are going to, um, to talk about four very simple improvements. One is how you use backgrounds um, in your storyboards and visualizations to make them look more appealing. A few tricks that I do with PowerPoint to improve those backgrounds and make them useful. The second topic is how you can embed and create navigation properties in your storyboard, guiding people to the correct uh, information domain that you want them to go to. Number three is how you can use vector diagram pictures that are dynamic uh, in your storyboards to make your graphs and bar charts look way more appealing and uh, visual uh, attractive. And topic number four is how you can use dynamic text. Well, I, uh, I will use these two very simple visualizations. So uh, order value per month and order value per uh, product group and let me take the compose section where we create our storyboards so here we go so on the screen you see a very simple um, storyboard i created with two graphs that we just saw and a uh, drop down box for to select the uh, the countries and if you want to uh, apply a background that's done as follows you tick the page settings button and you can uh, click add import from local and uh, this brings me to a uh, directory with some pictures that I have on my screen here you go and I just uh, can pick a picture let me pick this one I tend to use um, pictures that are um, free of copyrights so that you can uh, be sure that you can use them and uh, if you narrow down the opacity a little bit so that the picture is not so um, affronting available then uh, it looks a little bit better. Um, what I also tend to do is uh, if you tick the visualization and you tick the plot area section, I change the background color to no fill. So then more or less your uh, graph or your chart is, is uh, embedded or flying on top of your uh, visualization, which, looks, uh, which makes it look a little bit better. Let me do the same for the line. Here you go. Yeah. Another best practices uh, practice that I tend to do is the following is um, if you want to create a dashboard with some key metrics, um, an idea might be to do as follows. You see over here, this is PowerPoint and I just created um, myself a, um, a background with um, two white areas where I can put key metrics, two bigger squares where I can put my graphs. And over here, this is done for the navigation, which I will talk in the second uh, topic. Um, I save this as a uh, as a picture and um, for example yeah you can save it if you tick over here you can save it as a uh, as a JPEG and the JPEG you can uh, import as background into your uh, visualization so uh, let me do that if I create another page give it a name example create go here and tick import from this one here you go and um, what I tend to do is, uh, for example, if you have a numeric, numeric metric, I just drag and drop it over here. Uh, we size it a little bit. And um, what you do is you take away the background colors. Put this one on none. The chart title, you erase it. The plot area, you make the color to none. And if you Take the value and make that a little smaller. Then you can perfectly bring your metric over here. And for example, your graph, you could put that over here. And this gives already a way 
more impressive and nicer result than just putting it on a blank screen. So, so far for the uh, backgrounds, let's go to uh, topic number two, and that is regarding navigation. Um, navigation as follows. You've seen that I, um, in this background picture, uh, already took some precautions for the navigations by making these little buttons over here. Um, so what you can do if you want your end user to be able to push this little button where my mouse right now is within predictions. Um, so this is all embedded in the background. So for the moment, nothing happens. But if I go like this, if I just pick a shape and drag and drop it over here and make it invisible. So no color, no line. Now it's invisible, but what I uh, still have the option is that uh, if I select it, I can uh, take this little button over here and I can uh, make a link to that button, for example, to page number one and say, well, can you please go to page number one if people click this? And this is the result. So uh, if you now click this button, you will go to page number one. Yeah, so if I go back, here you go. You see, if I now hover it, my mouse turns into clickable. And if I click it, it goes to the correct page that I am interested in. So this is how you uh, create navigation. Um, what I tend to do is spend a little bit more time on it. Uh, because if you do something like this, and uh, you go to this one, I tend to create these kinds of this one. There uh, was a dashboard where uh, we talked about uh, different sections in a um, in a purchasing department i make make these kinds of squares and uh, so people can tick e uh, procurement events and i also change the color depending on where they are on the screen so again this is a simple way of using navigation yeah you just um, uh, bring in again a picture another example if i take just take this one and I just drag and drop it over here. Yeah. And you can make it by bringing a shape over it and change the color. I can make it clickable. Again, the same example. So if people now click on the squares, they go to that specific section. Put it in preview mode and you see if I click it now, it goes to page number two. Yeah, this one goes back. Next topic, uh, using um, vector uh, diagram pictures uh, as core of your dynamic visualizations. Very powerful. Have a look at the following. So I go back to my compose room. What I can do is the following. If I take the bar, uh, the bar chart and I go to column I uh, have the option to change the column shape but I can also use pictograms yeah? and over in Lumira there's a number of pictograms available uh, off the shelf and if I take this little person over here you see that um, they, these are vector uh, created pictograms that the moment that I make a selection uh, if I put it in preview mode, the size of the little person is changing. And so it's dynamic and it makes your, uh, you can also give it a color. It makes your um, graph look way more appealing. Even more, I can even add my own uh, SVG files. Let me show you how I do that. So if you tick the uh, pictogram section and you see that there is uh, over here a little plus button where you can import uh, your SVG files yourself. But what I do, I go uh, first. I go to the web. And I'm looking for a glass of champagne. What I do is I Google glass of champagne, champagne, and file type SVG uh, for vector related uh, pictures. I tick the, uh, the picture button and imagine that I like this one. I open it up and with right click I save it. Uh, in a directory where I keep all my SVG files. If I now go back to Mira, then um, I can add my own SVG file. So let me uh, go there and 
go to the directory where I have my SVG files. Over here is my glass of champagne. Here it is. And if I now go to my same chart and change the column pictograms, but if you scroll down, you will see that the um, vector diagram pictures that you important are available there too. And if I tick it, you can see I have now perfectly a very nice graph that I can use. And if I raise this little filter, really, it makes your dashboards way nicer. You see that in my picture, this one uh, has still that gray background. You have tools to erase that too. Or if you search a little bit more detailed on the web, you will find glasses without a background. So again, it's dynamic. So depending on the filter that, that you set, um, the size of the glass changes. You see it over here. You can also apply to a line chart as a marker. So if I take the line chart and I go over there as to marker, then uh, I can also change the picture. And again, you can choose the ones uh, and change the color um, from uh, within SAP Lumira, but you can also change. Let me use this little oil oil can, for example. And if I make it a bit bigger, here you go. And I could, for example, also add the data labels to make it look a little bit more appealing and change that color to that. And here you go. This is how you quickly adjust and make your uh, storyboards and dashboards way more appealing uh, using vector diagram related pictures going to the last topic dynamic text again i uh, go back in the edit mode dynamic text is a very powerful technique that i tend to use all the time in my um, in my stories uh, make a little space so imagine that i do the following i uh, just add a little text and uh, let me put it uh, as follows i could say in the text the order value for your selection is and let me now take this link dynamic text it opens up my formula i give it a name sample formula and uh, you just you can create a complete um, uh, those all the functions are uh, can be applied but let me keep it very simple I just take the order value and you see that now the order value over here is plotted meaning that uh, it's, it's dynamic meaning that if people preview or view the storyboard and make selections I will toggle with the selections and have a look at this number you will see that it automatically adjusts depending on the selection you see so this is a very powerful technique to make um, your dashboards more attractive and more uh, valuable using dynamic text in your visualizations and dashboards and storyboards. Thanks for your attention. Um, to wrap up, so what we've done, we looked at backgrounds where you can change the opacity to uh, not to attract too much attention. I also talked about using PowerPoint to create your own backgrounds where you can plot dashboard-like data quite easily in, where you free up squares to put your uh, key performance indicators, for example. Second topic, we looked at navigation. So you can use any picture, um, drag it into your storyboard or dashboard, and just by applying a small shape over that picture and make that invisible, you can apply the hyperlinks to that uh, picture quite easily and make sure that people can navigate. Third is that we looked at vector diagram pictures that are dynamic, so they change uh, size depending on your uh, selections that you can use either in a bar chart or a line chart, as you can see over here. And number uh, five, we, uh, four, we talked about dynamic text over here that uh, again, can make your storyboards way more attractive and dynamic. Thanks for your attention.